Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. And in this Vue.js 3 tutorial, we will learn about dynamic routing. So these are the four steps for this video. First of all, we will learn what is dynamic routing, how we can pass parameters with routing, how we can get parameters in a component and uh, after that I will tell you what is the use of routing and at the last we will discuss an interview question related to the dynamic routing. So let's start with the first question what is dynamic routing. So whenever we want to pass some data inside our routing on a click and we want to get it inside the another page or another component we call it dynamic routing. I want to give you an example. For example uh, whenever I mean I'm just uh, clicking on a home there is a nothing for a route when I will click on a login there is a static route right if I am going to just change something here let's say I just put here one and I'm just going to enter then you will find that login page is just a break from here here you can see that we have nothing to show here because a uh, router just know the login he don't know what is login one right that's why we call it static routing all right so let's say whenever I will just click on that one. Now you will find that after profile, I have some name like Anil, Peter, right? And Bruce, right? So that we call basically dynamic routing. If I just put here, uh, let's say John, then it will just uh, accepting and this data is passing from routing to here also. So we call it dynamic routing, basically passing data through routing from a click or you can say that from one page to another page basically a dynamic routing so how we can achieve it so i am just going to oh, remove the code that i had done in my last video or uh, i mean just for uh, making the static uh, sorry making for a dummy purpose so that i'm just removing this content so that i can show you from scratch right and I will show you the dynamic routing from the scratch if you just want to uh, watch the how we can just implement static or simple routing then you can watch our last video all right so come back here so first of all what I just want to do I want to make some profile pages like a uh, profile for Peter profile for Anil and all I just want to mention some links here so where I can mention here I can mention in my app dot view here you can see that we already have uh, three links so i am putting three more let's say you can put here peter peter's profile right bruce profile and here we can put here anil profile and uh, that's here you can see that the name is changed but uh, the content or you can see that the link is same so what i'm just going to do here I am putting here Peter and uh, Bruce and Anil. But now you find that our page is actually broke up. Here you can see that home is working fine. This is also working fine. So whenever I will just click on Bruce, then you will see that profile page is not here on that not on a Anil click and not on a Peter and Bruce, right? route is actually changing but we have nothing to get here and we have some kind of warning no route is match because uh, till now our codies don't know how to handle profile and browse data he can handle the profile because he know that how we can handle the static data for profile but how how he can handle the anil and bruce and peter's dynamic data so for that what we have to do we have to go in a route and here you can see that we already mentioned here profile right for path so I am now putting here I can put here like anil but is it a good way no because uh, if I just put for anil then how it will match for uh, uh, Peter and Bruce and it can be thousands of dynamic URL so that I can make it dynamic like colon and name All right. name so what is the name is this is the parameter that code actually understand that I have to send something with the name of parameter right so I will just show you the use of this parameter also but first of all let's understand it this is working or not. So whenever I will just click on Anil this is working fine right. I can go on the home and Peter and anywhere whatever I go, go it's working fine. But how we can get this Bruce data inside our profile page this is the another thing right. So now let's see first of all we have to go on that page. 
so let's simply go on that profile one and now we have to import the uh, use router first of all let's import something from view router okay and now we can just import here use route all right or uske baad let's use mounted life cycle method we learned this life cycle method in uh, last some videos you can check out in a playlist if you did not watch that video right and first of all let's take a route let's say we can put this uh, const name is route and uh, just use here route use route and this is kind of method so now let's check that what we are getting inside this route one and let put here route as a static keyword so that we can understand from where this route is consoling actually right and uh, now let's come back here and now you can see that we actually getting so let me just check again we are getting some unreadable form of data so we don't need to worry about that just simply put here dot params right and now you can find that we are getting with the bruce again if you just check that we are getting okay bruce and now we are getting anyland all so just simply put here dot name and now we will get the actual name with the user so again you can check with the peter and with the anyland all right great so uh, next thing that how can we print print this name inside here yes we can print so let's take a property so for that we need to define it so just return profile by default it's blank property we can put here comma and now let's simply use here this dot profile is route dot params dot name right so now what we can do here uh, we can just simply put here like this uh, profile and let's simply push like put like this profiles for that one right so now here you can see that we are getting uh, anil's profile bruce profile and peter profile and all right with that way we can make it dynamic same way we can pass the id here also because in most of the cases this is uh, let's see that what we just got till now we got what is dynamic routing how we can pass parameter how we can get parameters but what is the use of it the use is uh, in a facebook or in a linkedin or in a many other social media platforms you find that every user have a specifically link here like uh, if i just uh, want to mention about my like anil test url or something right after that whenever we'll, we will just click on it right uh, this social media site fetch the data the behalf of this url and we get the complete profile for any user right and for that they actually pass the ids uh, right so if i just put here like one id two id and three id and all right and uh, after that whenever they will get all this data here then we they call the api and show this data right basically this is the process behind that all right so now okay my pc is battery running low that's okay so if i just uh, pass it now you can see that uh, we got this uh, uh, tools id because we are just passing the data from tools from uh, here right you can understand that okay that's the okay we can pass here again the anil and bruce and name that's okay i just want to show you that how we can pass the id so can we pass two parameter here also like id and then name definitely we can pass here there's nothing big for that you just need to put here uh, in a route just simply put put here uh, like id or phone number or whatever parameter you want to pass you can just simply pass it from here right and in the interviews they can ask that how we can pass the two parameter or three parameter and all and the answer is yes definitely we can pass it and that's the way that we can pass 
So thanks for watching this video. If you still have any kind of confusion, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video.